Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm continuing my first Terraria playthrough. If you liked the video, consider subscribing. Join the community on Twitch and Discord. Links to both of those are down below. So the first thing I did is my chat told me to go to the dungeon and beat these cultists. And while I looked at these four and thought, wow, that'll be super easy, I ended up killing them. And then a new guy spawned, and he was just a little bit harder. He was still pretty easy, because... Uh, his attacks weren't super hard to dodge, but at the end of the day, it was just super easy to fly around him and hit him. That was until he started duplicating, because his decoys didn't actually have health bars, so I couldn't actually kill them, but on the other hand, that made it super easy to find the real guy, because he had a health bar. But at the end of the day, he wasn't too hard, so I was able to kill him pretty quickly. Once we'd done that, it was time to take on the four pillars. And these guys are protected by a ton of enemies, which made it way more difficult because you have to kill a hundred of these guys before you can actually attack the pillar. And these guys can do a lot of damage. So just by generally staying a little bit higher in the sky and raining down some attacks, I was able to finally kill a hundred of the little minions. And at the beginning, I was just hitting the sky pillar. And then I realized I could just super easily put down the clouds so, no matter where I was, the pillar would still be taking damage. And yeah, all that helped out until we eventually defeated our first pillar. Only three more to go. The solar pillar was next, and this one was actually pretty interesting because of these giant snakes. Someone in chat helped me out by saying you should stay on the ground so they don't attack you, which was a ton of help because those guys were going to be the death of me. But at the end of the day, we were able to defeat this pillar pretty quickly too. After that one, we took a short break to make some new weapons. This one, I was unsure about, and when I went and tested it out, I felt like I had so much less control, even though I probably didn't. So I ended up switching back to the Terror Blade pretty quickly, just because I liked that a little bit more, and the damage wasn't much less. And yeah, we were able to beat this third pillar pretty quickly too. The last pillar gave me a run for my money though. I was standing on the ground so that I could kill enemies a whole lot faster, but they were doing a ton of damage, so they did end up killing me. But the good thing was once I came back, it resumed where I was, like there were still 55 enemies to kill when I came back. So I was able to finish off this one pretty quickly. I also gotta say, I love that plant in the background, it looks sick. And yeah, with the four pillars defeated, I wasn't quite sure what was going to happen. But pretty soon after, we got the Moon Lord, which I had seen before in pictures, so I knew that this was the final boss of the game. Well, the story anyway. And yeah, this guy is insane. He'll just kind of follow you around through the sky. These lasers, I didn't understand how I was ever going to dodge those. Someone in chat helped me out eventually, but those were hard to deal with. I ended up just trying to space myself out and trying to kill each eye one at a time. And unfortunately, because I didn't really understand how to dodge the eyeball attacks, I ended up dying. So that's unfortunate. But after that, I made a cool new weapon, which I thought would be pretty helpful for doing some quick damage to the eyes. And I also made a new summon item, the dragon this time, who I'm not quite sure how much stronger he is than the tiger but he seems like he's pretty good. After that, we went and took on the cultists again, which was easy, and then I went back and took down all four of the sky pillars, which took no time at all. After that, it was time for Moon Lord again. And while having another weapon was pretty nice, it was able to do a ton of damage, it still took a lot of work. I was able to take the first hand down pretty quickly, but that eye attack was still messing with me. I didn't understand it. My main strategy this time around was just to run until I could heal, which actually somehow managed to work. I was able to just space out, heal, go in, do some burst damage, and eventually I defeated him. So yeah, we've officially beat Terraria, which is kind of insane. And of course, I got some nice loot from it too. I also really love how the credits were handled in this game. I really love it when they don't like kick you out of a game but just have something going in the background. I don't know. I thought it was cool. But anyways, after that I put up my Moon Lord trophy. 
And just to show off how lucky I am with solar eclipses, I got another one. But it meant I got to test out this new century I got. Anyways, that's all for this time. I'm not done with Terraria. I'm going to be taking a small break because Tears of the Kingdom is coming out. And I want to do some stuff with that. But we'll be back to Terraria in a little bit. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the series. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have a fantastic day.